So the Alfresco Chef do a couple of different ranges of fuel for your oven. They do wood pellets, and they also do a kiln dried kindling. So it's a dried wood that burns really quickly and quite nicely. So we're gonna actually cook today with the pellets. So these are cherry flavored pellets. I've used pellets before in cooking in other devices, and you do actually get a nice hit of cherry from the wood when it smokes. So as I said, we're gonna cook a pineapple upside down cake in the ember wood fired oven. We've got one of the Alfresco Chef's cast iron pans as well. So we're gonna melt some butter in that, and then I'll show you how we prepare the rest of the cake. Okay, so this is the rear part of the oven. So what we're gonna do is just put a handful of pellets into the scoop, and then we're gonna use one of our fire lighters and just place that on top. And then what we're gonna do is just light it. Woo. And then what we're gonna do is just give this a couple of minutes to establish before putting it into the oven. And then we can add the rest of the pellets through the chute at the back. So what I'll do is I'll take you around the back and show you that in a minute. So this is the rear of our oven and this is our chute. So what we're gonna do is now our fire lighter is burning and some of the pellets have started to catch. We're just gonna put this in to the rear of the oven. And then what we can do, see if I can move you a bit closer so you can see. So as you can see in there, we've got our fire. So then all we're gonna do Just gradually add our pellets to the back. And then what we're gonna do is just let our oven come up to temperature. We want to maintain a cook temperature of 200 degrees Celsius for our pineapple upside down cake. And we will do that by using the door to keep the temperature constant inside the oven. Okay, so the first thing I need to do for the pineapple upside down cake is take 110 grams of butter and melt it in the ember wood fired oven. We put the door back on to help retain the heat because we want a constant 200 degrees Celsius when we actually cook our pineapple upside down cake. Okay, so we've got our 110 grams of butter that we've melted in the oven. And then what we're gonna do now is put in our brown sugar and mix it all together. So 200 grams of brown sugar. And then we're just gonna mix this along, make a nice syrup. There we go, and then I've got my pineapple here, but what I'm gonna do is just retain about a third of a cup of the juice. There we go. And the rest of it is gonna go into the bottom of our pan, into the brown sugar that we've already mixed with the butter. So careful, because this is gonna be hot now. Loaded with pineapple, yeah. Right, done. Right, so what we're gonna do now is beat our egg yolks until they are thick and creamy, and then we're gonna add in our sugar and our pineapple juice. So I've got my magic whisk that's attached to the magic plug, and we're gonna...
Right, so what we're gonna do now is add in our sugar. We've got 200 grams of white sugar and continuously whisk the egg yolks. So now we're gonna add in our vanilla extract, a teaspoon and the third of a cup of pineapple juice we retained from our tin. A mix. A mix of a wooden spoon. Okay, so now we're gonna add in 125 grams of plain white flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon, a little tiny one, of salt. and then mix it all together with our wooden spoon. Okay, so we're nearly done now. All we've got to do is whisk our egg whites until they form stiff peaks, then fold them into our cake mix and then add it to our cast iron pan before putting it in the ember wood-fired oven. So we've got stiff peaks on our egg whites, so now what we're gonna do is fold them into our cake. So just gently fold these in because you don't want to knock out any of the air that you've just worked hard to put into your egg whites. Okay, we're nearly finished now. So all we're gonna do is add our mixture into our cast iron. And then what we're gonna do is place it into our ember wood-fired oven that's at 190 degrees Celsius. We will see this in about 35 minutes time and you'll know it's cooked because you'll be able to put a toothpick in it and pull it out and the toothpick should be clean. Okay, so our pineapple ups are down cake has been inside the ember wood-fired oven now for about 35 minutes, but about 20 minutes into the cook, I had to put tin foil over the pan as the top of the cake was burning. So basically, when your fuel ignites, it will basically cause flames to lip over the top of whatever's inside. So this is perfect if you're cooking a pizza because that is exactly what you want to help brown your cheese and cook your toppings. But when it's something like a cake, it's best to protect your pan with a little bit of tin foil to stop it from burning. So let's get this cake out now. Oh, hot. <coughs> so all we're gonna do now is let this cool and when it's cool, we're gonna turn it out and we should have a perfect upside down pineapple cake. Okay, so we've allowed the cast iron pan to cool, so it's, we can handle it now, so that's good. So then what we're gonna do is take our chopping board, place it on top, turn it over, a few taps. Oh, and it only worked. Perfect. So there we have it guys, our pineapple upside down cake cooked in the ember wood-fired oven. Oh yeah.